corruption. The subject of this week's profile on corruption just got reelected to the Ohio legislature last week. Ohio House Speaker Larry Householder was arrested in July 2020, just a few months ago, on racketeering charges. According to the Dayton Daily News, quote, Federal prosecutors say Republican Speaker Larry Householder and four others, including a former state GOP chairman, perpetrated a $60 million federal bribery scheme connected to a taxpayer-funded bailout of Ohio's two nuclear power plants. Specifically, Householder received $60 million into his PAC, and then he steered about $1.3 billion to the power company, First Energy Solutions. He did it by keeping a citizen's initiative off the ballot that would have required voter approval for that bailout. Federal prosecutors detailed the machinations of this gang to disqualify the initiative. The Ohio House stripped Householder of his speakership, yes, but Representative Householder refused to resign. Instead, he started campaigning for re-election to Ohio's 72nd State House seat. <laughs> the incumbent Householder did not even have a challenger such as the power of incumbency. Just a few months before the election, it was too late for an opposing candidate to appear on the ballot. Although four candidates tried to run as a write-in, apparently they failed, although no one knows how many votes they actually got. The Ohio Secretary of State's office does not give votes for write-in candidates. Householder came to our attention back in March when he called Ohio's eight-year tournaments pretty oppressive. Before his arrest, he was pushing a ballot measure designed to weaken Ohio's tournaments law from eight years to 16 years so that he could serve until 2036. We certainly know why. Representative Householder has also been quoted saying that tournaments aren't a good bargain for the state of Ohio. Well, he should know. His bargain with the devil netted him about $60 million, briefly, in re-election to the Ohio legislature. The power of incumbency is so great that only term limits can temper it, which is why corrupt politicians always oppose them. Corruption.